Dodger didn't sing all those songs. Who <laughs> 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 you knows? Know, okay, when, when um, Oliver finished, of course, I, I, was, I was right on top of theatre. I loved it. I was looking for my next show, wasn't I? Next show. So the next show that came to town was, in fact, The, the Sound of Music. Yes? <laughs> and of course, Sound of Music. Did it have children's parts in The Sound of Music? It had a few. But the trouble was, the kids in The Sound of Music were, were blonde. And um, I had, um, I had, uh, what was it, I can't remember now, it was um, <laughs> a darkish brown colour, it's been a long time since I've seen it, I don't know. So I had sort of dark brown hair, you know, and so, but that wasn't going to stop me, I thought, no, they're, they're not going to notice that. I go along, I do the big audition, and the director afterwards said, you know, Mrs. O'Donoghue, he says to my mum, Mrs. O'Donoghue, it's always wonderful, it's fabulous for us. It's great for us. In fact, he's the right height, but his hair is just wrong. It's the wrong look, it's the wrong colour. <laughs> just take him home, give him a, you know, get the hair going, lighten the hair, and we'll consider him for the part. So, off we went, Mum and I. Mum knew what to do, she, the peroxide, you know. <laughs> so I've gone in sort of this very weird sort of scarlet colour, <laughs> and then a bit of that, and, and eventually it had this sort of golden texture of sort of straw, <laughs> colour and texture of straw. Yeah. But um, the interesting thing was, of course, that um, when I went back to the, to the theatre, you know, they said, you've got the part, but of course all the other kids in, in, in the company, they all done the exactly same as, as, as what I've done. No kid in the company was a natural blonde. <laughs> you know, they'd all, you know, we all look like bloody Lady Gaga. And <laughs> Every which way, you know, and of course, but the producers had it all organised, you know, they, 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 every two weeks we tootle off the King's Cross, chaperone, of course, <laughs> and have our hair professionally bleached by the local salon. But let me tell you about the hair thing, of course, now, you know, I mean, basically, you know, um, I, the, the King and I came to town after Sound of Music. <laughs> but after, <laughs> Now I'm ahead of, ahead of my time. No, that's not <laughs> now, speaking of, I was speaking about bald heads. Um, yes, indeed. Triathlon. I do triathlon. Now, if you want to look like a triathlete, you just shave your head. That's, you don't even have to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone knows, oh, he's, he's a swimmer. Aren't he? Aren't he? Aren't he? <laughs> no, it, it, it's, it's like that. So, you know, triathlon. I'm, I'm right into the triathlon because I've got the shaved head and, and all that. But people often ask me about triathlon and they say, what is it? You know, it's I, well, it's swim and it's bike and it's run. It's like being the triple threat of the athletics world, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Three of them. So um, I, they say, why is the order of triathlon a swim and then a bike and then a run? You know, why not? You had a long ride and you had a long run. Surely you'd feel like a swim. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a re obvious, the reason's obvious. I mean, triathlon's a very demanding event. So at the end of a triathlon, if anyone's going to fall over and die or, you know, have trouble, it's best to do it on the run, isn't it? <laughs> you know, I mean, seriously. They did try it once, and that's when the sport of duathlon was invented. <laughs> okay, now in between...